fourth and last principle for Jiu-Jitsu as a four is the attacking with the submission. That's the ultimate goal of Jiu-Jitsu in any aspect, whether it's in competitive or even in on the street when you're fighting. The idea is to attack so that you can allow the person to submit to your will. Y'all got it? Any questions so far? Um, you want to just touch on the gi versus no gi? Sure. You guys have to know what the gi is and know what the is. All right, so no gi also called submission grappling, grappling without the uniform. I'm not sure if any of you guys have ever seen Roshan in his uniform, like his white bed medicine. All right, so the idea is... Uniform. Yeah, yeah. Uniform. Like the rope? Yeah, yeah. yeah. white rope. Yeah. Right, you can fight with gi or not. Yeah. So no gi is what we're going to be doing today, also called submission grappling. It's more preferred because, you know, we don't have to buy the expensive food. To be able to practice the jiu jitsu, right? Yeah. A little bit more So, what we're going to do now, we're going to start warming up and we're going to get into some of the jiu jitsu that I have for you guys. Well, you find that with, within the jiu jitsu, yes, you're able to get much more dominant control over an individual. However, I personally find that the matches are like, not even personally, the matches are slow because. For instance, if you hold someone on their shirt and pin them to the floor, what are they going to do, right? And the other person has you holding you, and they're just there, still, yeah, still, still naked on the ground. <laughs> Primarily involves you getting on two of your hands. Going down and putting your hips as low as you can to the mat. After that, what I want you guys to do is to get up in what's known as a staggered stand. What do I mean by that? In Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, we all start our each of all of our fights So any time a Jiu Jitsu match starts, you start standing up. I have to put both of my feet in front of me. I try to be able to do it. If I start in a staggered stand, I'm trying to push me much weaker. From the sprawl, you defend against the takedown, and then you're able to jump back up into a standard stance to prevent yourself from getting too strong. That's what we're going to work on right now. So, what I want you guys to do is sprawl, come back into a standard stance, and move one step forward. <laughs> So our first game, what I want you guys to do, there's going to be two persons fighting together. So the idea is that Rashawn, his goal is to remove the connection of my feet from his body. My body. That's all I want you guys to do. So the person is fighting, all they're going to do is just move the connection. So in Jiu-Jitsu, a guard is known as a position where one grappler is using their legs to entwine an opponent to keep them within their legs. A guard passer is someone who's trying to remove their legs from the equator to get into their chest or chest and back. Guard, what are my legs are in front of the top. If Rashawn, by some means, however, that gets past my legs and gets to maintain chest to chest contact, what he's done here is that he's passed my guard. Anybody wants to start? All right, guys, so it's lunch, it's lunch time, it's meeting time at Strice, 1 p.m. Um, we're basically doing some jiu jitsu. The whole team is here. I'm inviting especially the ladies, especially in the climate that we live in Jamaica now, you can come and join us, right? Free of cost to come and take part in these defense sessions, right? We'll learn and build confidence and be able to know what to do if you get, become physically challenged by someone else. What he's doing right now, attacking the arm, that's, that's beautiful. That's what you want to do in order to off balance the person. Hold the arm. Yeah. And then. Um, space, yeah. 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 Passing guard, too. So. Yep. He's gonna tap. Killing them, bro. Killing them. 
Oh. <laughs> pass it again. The passing guy, this way. Uh, uh, Is there a time limit where you have to pin somebody in? Yeah, five minutes to give them a Well, you don't submit them. Some coaches draw the match, others let it go to like a sudden death, like whoever is on top the longest. Really? Others go into just a referee decision where it's just like, yo, whatever the ref says goes. The yeah, idea is that now what we're going to do is that we're going to start getting into getting chest to chest connection. In Jiu Jitsu, this is where you want to be. This is where most of the submissions happen, and this is where you get to score points. What I want Jay to do is that when he gets past my guard, I want him to hold his position for three seconds. This is Jay's entire goal. Get past into the line of my knee, get past my knee line. Once Jay gets past my knee line, that's the win condition, and he's able to hold it for three seconds. You guys reset, and we restart the game. Get past the knee line. That's what I want from you guys. It doesn't matter. Hold him down, do whatever. Then you get to try to fight that. Yes. One. One. Oh, Two. One, two. One, two, three, four. Our constant nose inflection as well. So these people will help you with the mobility at all joints. Once he gets his hooks in, he has the nose inflex to hold them in there. Right? Simple. <laughs> Come on, Shabara. 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 Come on, Shabara.